Hey guys, welcome back to Day by Day with PJ. Uh, it is uh, Sunday morning. Um, I don't only say that because this is going to be a uh, compilation vlog. So basically, um, this week, not a ton going on at work, but I still want to show you guys into uh, kind of what I do day by day, and hence the name. I'll kind of carry the camera with me when things happen at work that are vlog worthy, I'll put it together. It's the joy of just putting out episodes during the week. I am headed to church this morning, it's Sunday. It's gonna be a busy, busy Sunday. I'm headed to middle school this morning, then I've got a Jamaica meeting after church, and then I have, after my Jamaica meeting, I have a middle school uh, band rehearsal for our middle school worship team. So, lots to do, let's get moving. We're getting all set up in middle school, ready to go. Uh, just had to do some like work on the computer and stuff. Uh, set some chairs and stuff, so we're ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna head up to church and then back down here. Sorry, middle school was uh, just crazy this morning. I walked in the room and like 27 things were going wrong, so. Uh, we're done now. Everyone's a small group, so we're not done. But um, I don't have a small group, so uh, I'm kind of like the person. I gotta make sure that our slushies get done. That's our new slushy bar too. Uh, we just built that. See, I told you it was gonna be like a slow day. It was a, a busy day, but slow day for filming because I was like running meetings and running practice and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I gotta turn everything off in here turn everything off in the high school room and head home. That was Sunday, so that's all I did at work today. So, see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, it is now Monday afternoon. Uh, fast forward a little bit, Monday mornings are meeting, like all of our meetings happen on Monday morning. So, it's a, a pretty boring day, um, in the morning at least. Uh, but kind of have all the things that we need to get done this week and uh, I think this afternoon I actually have to go and do a project uh, to help get a video done. Uh, so that could be something interesting and fun uh, that I can take you along, but right now me and Wembley are just out on our afternoon walk. My project is that I have to uh, go to a bunch of middle schools uh, for this. The, the bumper that we're making is for a missions moment, so like how our students can live on mission. And so we're going to a bunch of the different middle schools. Well, I'm going to a bunch of the middle schools uh, and uh, getting pictures of the signs so that like students, when they watch this video, will see their school um, and it'll really be more personal for them. So I have my MapQuest directions because I needed to add a, like 20 stops to, uh, to a Google thing and Google won't let you do that. So MapQuest it is, back in the 90s, got my directions. Uh, my projected route is two hours and 52 minutes. So let's see how fast we can do this. Oh no, things are blowing around already. They're out of order. Oh my god, I know where to go! So our first stop is Jamestown Middle School, uh, which is a 17-minute uh, drive from here. So glasses are a little dirty. Now, uh, just consulting my uh, my map here, we are to take exit 100. Uh, we're on here for 5.2 miles, just to see how 
how close uh, MapQuest is to their thing. And now I realize I am gonna have to stop at each stop and take a picture, but that should take me around 10 seconds to stop. Like, shouldn't take me too long. Uh, but it says two hours and 52 minutes. I left church at 1.30. Slight right. Completing now. The uh, the road just turned into Jamestown Parkway, so that means that I have to go 0.63 miles until we hit Vickery Chapel Road. I can follow paper directions. Look, I just ran right into Vickery Chapel. I can't even go straight. That's not an option. Perfect. Our next step is to turn left onto Harvey Road. Look, I don't remember that. Harvey Road, that should be pretty easy to remember. Oh, it's Ragsdale. I had no idea. Yeah. This is just a lot of guessing and hoping. All right, next step is turn left onto Haynes Road. I see a school zone though, so I'm guessing that I'm getting pretty close. Yay! First stop, easy success if this is Jamestown Middle School. Okay, that was an education center, so I'm guessing, yeah, Jamestown Middle School. This is a nice school. Time for my picture. I got my picture, and that's all I need to do here. So now we're gonna look at our uh, next step. Already on my first mistake. Um, okay. Turn left onto Harvey Road, I did that, and then it took me into GTCC campus, which then it said that it was Bonner Road. Should I go back and see if I was got off Harvey? Doesn't tell me to do anything else, I just went straight. No idea where Harvey Road went, but it disappeared completely. I'm breaking down, I'm just gonna put uh, High Point Christian into my GPS and it'll route me there. Okay, I'm calling this a map quest error because I am now on the road that it says like I need to turn left onto, which is what it tells me to do the next step. So I think that map quest just didn't know that Harvey Street doesn't exist past where you go to GTCC. I think that it's a map quest error and not a me error. Now I can just do everything else that it says. So I'm gonna turn the GPS off now Go in paper direction, straight out the 90s. We're now in uh, downtown High Point, uh, which just brings back a lot of memories. I used to go to school in High Point uh, for second through seventh grade. And I got married at High Point, uh, like right up the street from here. Oh look, this is where I got married, right there. It's called the Lost Union Square. I'm not sure that it's still called that. It seems that it's called Plant 7. But I got married up on the top floor of that building right there. Guys, I'm on English Street. That is what happened when I went into downtown. I got on English, so uh, I should probably look at my next step now. Uh, turn right onto Phillips Avenue. Probably missed that, let's be real. Okay, I turned around because I think that I was not uh, I had already passed Phillips because I didn't know that I was on English and I was only supposed to be on English for like a mile and I was definitely on English for longer than a mile. So we turned around, we're gonna find Phillips. We're gonna get to High Point Christian at some point on this episode. Well, I went back to downtown and I still haven't seen Phillips. So I'm gonna go back and hop on and get on to English Street again so that I can hopefully get to uh, Phillips. Phillips Street. Okay, this is where I made my slight left onto English Street, and now I have 1.12 miles until I have to turn right onto Phillips Avenue. I'm gonna focus real hard, find that road. Phillips Avenue, we're coming for you. This has never happened to me before. I've never seen anyone have to use one of those little manhole cover things, but these people sure are, just in the middle of traffic. I shouldn't have turned around. It was literally Phillips Avenue is right here, right by where I turned around. It was like one street past where I turned around. That was silly. Found High Point Christian Academy. Yay! Now I can pull a quick U-turn and uh, get on my way.
We've been to two schools now, it is 2.23. We're headed to our next school, which is Wesleyan. Doing this on paper is a lot more difficult than a GPS, because a GPS just fixes it for you, and it makes it so much easier. Wesleyan! I made a grave error. Uh, I got to a middle school right as like everyone was letting out. Uh, Northern Middle School got here and then I am now in the line to leave. Uh, I haven't even gotten the picture of the sign yet. That's where we are now. But we've gotten a lot of schools. That was a lot of schools that we knocked off. Uh, and it is 4.04. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me until 5 o'clock. Gives me about an hour. So currently it is 4.04. So in an hour, by 5.04, I think I'm gonna be back at Westover. I think I can make it happen. We made it, we made it back out. Uh, so it's 4.11, 4.12, 4.12. That only took eight minutes to get back out of there. That wasn't too terrible. It's officially five o'clock. I still have two schools. Oh, we actually only have one school left. Only one school left. Last school, last school! We have done it! We got all the schools crossed off the list, now we just have to get back to Westover, and it's a loop. 524, our last school was at 524. We did it! Uh, it is currently 536. We have made it. It happens. 16 schools, one afternoon. Took five hours, five hours, but we did it. I started talking to the camera and I almost forgot that I needed to get off on exit 100. That's right there. And I wouldn't know what to do because if I miss a step, I'm toast, because this is not GPS, this is just a printed piece of paper that doesn't change. Like, I wasn't planning on getting food for our Jamaica meeting, but then everyone wanted food, so I had to send Logan to give some food. Um, so thanks, Logan. You're the real MVP. This is an education center. Whoops. Do you need to shift? I'm like on the official campus of GTCC. I didn't know that it was so, like, legit. The only time I've ever been to GTCC was to the YMCA that's at GTCC um, because, oh no, I came here one other time. I went to like some sort of talk, like a speech by a uh, astrophysicist or something. But the only other time I was here was when I was becoming a lifeguard. I had to take my lifeguarding classes. But it's like an actual like campus. Like there's like big buildings. It's like a real college. Right, this car's just backing up. Where are you going, buddy? Working pretty hard on that. <laughs> the light turned green and it didn't even move. Oh, weird. <laughs> 